All right, welcome back to Mildly Infuriating. Get it? Because on the Mildly Infuriating video, I said welcome back to Mildly Interesting. I'm going to reveal a little secret. I would love to say that I did that on purpose, but it was actually an accident. It just worked out really well because people were mildly infuriated that I said the wrong subreddit at the start of that video. Me saying the wrong subreddit at the start of this video isn't mildly interesting though, so kind of nullifies it. But anyway, let's check out the last month of mildly interesting things. Prepare to be underwhelmed. It seems to be a fan favorite. My buddy and the eternal flame struck the same pose. <laughs> That's pretty great. Actually, what are the odds of that? Man, how do you get the fire? That that seems like a Photoshop thing right there, but also you can tell that it's not Photoshopped because of the pixels. At least it wasn't a dab. I found this picture floating in the ocean while snorkeling. Wait, really? I feel like there's gotta be some, there's gotta be a follow up here. Did we find the people who were in this photo? Reddit's really good at finding people. So maybe it couldn't have been in the ocean for that long. If that were an old photo, like it would have been wrecked by the water. I feel like that had to have been dropped in at most, maybe a few days before. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a scientist who knows the approximate degradation over time of photographs and water, but I got to imagine it happens pretty quickly. So the, the bummer here is it's not like some 50 year old lost proposal photo or something. And this, now they're going to look on on Reddit, this old couple and be like, I can't believe that this has been found. No, it's like it happened three days ago. It can't have lasted long in the water and still look that good. Couple of days, photographs deteriorate quickly. They show signs of molding in 48 hours. I was right. I was right. I'm a paper scientist. What can I say? Really good at this sort of stuff. This man dressed as a genie in a bottle. That's actually a pretty cool street performance thing. Obviously, there's like a it's it's a big metal platform under the red and then it has some rod that extends up through the lantern and then he's standing on a platform. Um, or sitting, I, I don't know, but he's he's on something. Believe it or not, he's not actually floating or he's not actually like incredibly strong to be like holding himself up on some massive levered platform, or levered platform, depending upon your pronunciation. Very original concept, bravo, brilliant. I hope he came up with that himself because I'm very impressed and I don't want my being impressed to be misplaced. Think about it, he just gets to sit there and collect money. I, I don't know, does he, he doesn't, he can't actually grant wishes, he just has a box in front of him. It's like, yeah, cool thing, here's money. Which is not all that different from live streaming, I suppose. Itchy cows have buffed this wood smooth. <laughs> in the future, if ever you want some furniture polished, nice and beautiful, um, just, just take that furniture over to some cows, take all other obstacles away that they'd be able to scratch their itches on, and you'll be good. I feel like that would be some kind of really, a really profitable gimmick. Like, do you want furniture that has been sanded by itchy cows? That'll be $10,000 for this chair that's not terribly comfortable to sit on because it's just a bunch of flat boards, but it's polished by cows. There's some very, very expensive furniture out there that doesn't have that kind of a backstory to it. I remember when I was looking at couches, about a couple of years ago, and I was like, oh, this is a really nice couch. I like it. It's pretty dope. What's the price on it? Oh, that'll be uh, $25,000. <laughs> it wasn't that dope. You can shoot your car with suds while you're waiting inside uh, at my local car wash. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Except I would never take a car into one of those things ever. Cause dude, that, that'll like scratch up stuff. The, the, the big, I don't know what you call them, the big brushes. It's not good for your paint. I, I, I wouldn't do that. I guess at the same time, like if you, if you are doing it, that adds a fun element to it. And I haven't seen that before, but maybe it's common. And I just don't know. Cause again, I don't go to those. Um, but I would, I would have to recommend that like, if you are able do a hand wash, it's better for your vehicle. And like hand washes aren't that pricey. Like I have a dude who comes to my house and he charges $30 a car, which I don't, maybe uh, maybe people are gonna be like, dude, that's like way, way, way too expensive. But it seems like he comes to my house. So 30 bucks a car for me not to have to go anywhere. It seems pretty reasonable. Maybe my uh, my perception's really off, but I don't know, hand washes are good. That's all I'm trying to say here. Everyone's like, wow, dude, that's way too expensive. You're a dick for thinking it's not, sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'd put my coffee cup in the microwave and it scorched it, uh, and it scorched right on the do not microwave warning. I wonder if that's by design though. <laughs> like, well, you know, we gotta put a warning on here somewhere not to microwave, but some idiot's not gonna read it and is gonna put it in the microwave. How do we like give them another level of probably don't drink this now that you put it in the microwave, like maybe highlight it or they could have done something really cool or it like really big text around the, the main part here. Just you idiot, you microwaved it that only appears if it's microwaved by some sort of chemical reaction that only happens when you microwave it. I don't know how you do that, but I bet it's possible. Yeah, I'd like to imagine that this was made like this on purpose, but who knows? All I know is I'm probably gonna get premature cancer because I drank a lot of uh, liquid out of plastic cups that were microwaved. It's a bummer, like a lot of it. But we'll see how long I live. Stick stick with me for the long term here on YouTube. You might have some, we might have some imminent medical documentation happening. I don't know, hopefully longer rather than sooner. Uh, this get fit parking lot sign. Get fit, park here, steps two. Now, I'm, I gotta assume that this is further out in the parking lot, in which case, hey, I'm there. I like to park as far away from everyone else as possible, so, um, the th oh, pet peeve, pet peeve. I purposefully park extremely far away from everyone. There are no cars around me. I come back to my car and there's someone parked right next to me. Still, no other spots anywhere else, and you parked right now. Why'd you do that? Like, you, I, you're doing it just to bother me. I can think of no other reason. You know that I parked far away from everyone else on purpose, and you wanted to just burst my bubble. It's happened before. It doesn't happen very often, but it's happened before, and I'm like, thanks, man. Really appreciate that one. Really, thank you. I check my doors. I'm like, okay, at least we're not, at least we're not dinged. Boy, oh boy. And then you get the added benefit of a little bit extra exercise, you know? This is all good all around. This unashamed lube sold at Chicago Walgreens. Wow. They even offer a challenge. <laughs> can you make it to the can you make it to the 29th? Can you do it? Just find out. It's it's good marketing. You know, issuing a challenge to you. You're like, well, I better I this thing is one I better give it a try. Not a YouTube safe challenge by any means, but uh, maybe somewhere else. They printed the expiration date on my hamburger bun instead of on the package. <laughs> this was 12 days ago. This was fresh at the time. You knew for sure. Oh, I guess it was in the in the package. I was wondering if this was at like a restaurant or something. You're like, hey, now I'm, maybe this would be a really good tactic for a restaurant to do print your freshness date in edible ink on all the food and then you know for sure there's no way they could ever fake that ever no it couldn't be done after the fact if you eat it that date becomes your expiration date <laughs> dude the writing prop server actually has some like really good ideas for um like movies and stuff like that i wonder if anyone has ever gone on that subreddit and been like actually taken an idea from it and gone and made a tv show or movie from it I don't know what the legal ramifications are, like depending upon how much you tweak it, but there are a lot of, I've, I've seen a lot of those appear on the front page and they have some really good ideas. I'm like, man, I'd watch a movie on that. You guys are smart. I was mowing my lawn and came across this pink grasshopper. Huh, I don't know. I would actually have probably thought that was a leaf. I assume there's a red species of grasshopper and I just haven't seen one before. So most of them are green and that's why it's mildly interesting. Oh my God, a shiny, that's so rare. <laughs> Throw a Pokeball at it. It crushes the grasshopper. This motorcycle looks like a robot doing sit-ups. Kind of, yeah, it kind of does. It looks more like it if you, if you look at the thumbnail back here and when it's really small. When it's larger, not so much, but I see like the, the hands behind the head. Robot exercise right there. I'm curious what the uh, license plate means on it. Nuke bag. Does that mean it's like, it's really powerful? It's like a bag of, of nukes that power the thing. Found an almost perfectly spherical rock at the beach. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's extremely mildly interesting. I've never seen that before. Is that really natural? Are you sure it's not a cannonball? <laughs> it's not heavy enough to be a cannonball, I don't think. They also shoot rock cannonballs? Today I learned cannonballs are sometimes made out of rocks 
That seems like it just blast into a million pieces when when it gets fired out because it's a pretty big explosion and you would think if it's not made out of metal then it would have problems and maybe that's the idea let's just spend ages carving this beautiful beautiful round rock only to have it explode into shrapnel out of the cannon and the rock the spherical shape plays no part now it flies through the air but we need it to be spherical and eh, it might contain the explosion because if you had air gaps i guess it wouldn't get as propelled as quickly but that's natural that's that's great that's cool that's really cool this disc hidden beneath dirt and grass along the side of a highway marks the exact northwest corner of texas huh i hope that was actually found by the op and it wasn't like some website out there tells you exactly where to find this thing and oh hey yeah you want to see where the corner of these two states well, yeah there you go i mean there's also that four corners which is the intersection of which four states off the top of my head, isn't it like Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Nebraska or something like that? Am I really off? Am I off? Oh god, you're like, dude doesn't even know his own country, jeez. But in any case, see, this is not as dramatic as Four Corners, but kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like how the top comment is if you commit a crime while stepping over it, you get charged in both states. So what if you're in Four Corners and you... And you do the thing everyone does there where it's hands and feet in different states. What if you commit the crime there? I don't know what crime you're going to commit while all of your limbs are kind of <laughs> in prone position in different states. But there might be one that you could figure out. Next up, water drops part over an oil stain in the parking lot. Huh. That's pretty, it looks like kind of a, a glass or tile mosaic of some sort. Isn't that because there's like hydrophilic hydrophobic kind of going on between the two or maybe i'm totally wrong and just trying to use sciencey terms but i think it has something to do with that also extremely mildly interesting like i probably would yell that out to someone like hey look at this as we're walking by and they'd be like what are you doing it's raining can we go inside please i'd be like no but it's really it's just can we go inside thank you i turned an old tv into a fish tank is it mildly interesting if you did it yourself? I'm trying to determine the criteria. Mildly interesting seems like something you stumble upon that's not that cool, but also like, huh, yeah, I guess that's okay. But if you worked really hard on building a fish tank into your TV, you didn't stop, you weren't just like, oh, huh, well, TV just, it just spontaneously it, uh, turned into a fish tank, it just happened. I was just, I was watching TV, walking to the other room, I came back and it was a, there was a fish tank. I don't think that's what happened. It'd be more mildly interesting if like you went into someone else's house and it was like trying to turn on the TV. Oh, by the way, it's a fish tank. I'm not trying to downplay that this is cool. It's a cool project. I'm just not sure how mildly interesting it is. This Fibonacci clock, Fibonacci spiral clock. I'm assuming that these are the hours. The hours are like the six, five, four, three, two, and then this is the minute hand, right? So that would mean that right now it's actually what time is it right now? Eight? No, because it'd be going that. Hold on. Which six? Twelve? Am I an idiot? Am I? I must be a complete idiot because I'm having difficulties. Because I want it to be like eight, ten, but it's not though because it's closer to nine. So what am I missing here? Am I dumb? Am I really dumb? I might be really dumb, but that's like 10 minutes out, right? So that would be on the hour. So 10 minutes out, it seems like it should be closer because that looks like it's about to be nine o'clock because I have to assume, so it's moving. Obviously it's moving clockwise. So that means that this big, this big thing here, that's gonna extend out and that's gonna be moving towards the 10. That means it's gonna be on the nine before, Finally interesting, but I don't get it. What's the time? I don't know, like nine northeast. Unless this is the angle? What time? Nine ten. Yeah, it's gotta it's gotta be the angle. It's got it's gotta be the angle. Alright, it's it's the angle. That's that's the running theory that we're going with here. It's the angle. Uh my coffee looks a little bit like Jupiter. Yeah. Or Uranus. Isn't it technically pronounced Uranus? Actually? I'm pretty sure it is, but in any case, does it have the great red spot though? Because that's really crucial. I suppose you could almost consider that like the great red spot. It's just flipped upside down, but really it's not flipped upside down because in space, really there is no direction. So this is, yeah, 
It's very mildly interesting because I feel like I could look at, if I ever ordered a latte, I don't drink coffee, um, I feel like it could look like that. This elevator has a call button 30 feet away so the doors will be open by the time you get to them. That's brilliant. I love it. That's so brilliant. I love that idea. But the problem is, what if you're coming from like, oh, I suppose it still has the button close, see, like right over there, it looks like it still has the button. But it also is the option that you can press it further away. But then what happens if you press the button and the door is right there and it immediately starts opening? And you're like, nope, 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 shoot, I missed the elevator. This just defeated the purpose of the whole thing. You're supposed to make it easier for me to get on, not have the doors closed before I even get to them at this point. I wonder if it has some sort of delay that if you press that, when the elevator is already there, it'll actually wait for you. It'll only do that if the elevator is not on your floor already. I would think someone smart probably designed the system. This tree looks like straight up broccoli. It actually does look like straight up broccoli, literally, because it's it's standing straight up. So straight up broccoli it does look like broccoli. It looks like my childhood. Broccoli was about the only vegetable that I ate regularly in my childhood. I ate it pretty much every night, dipped in a little bit of mayonnaise, which I think is a weird combination to most people, but I liked it. And I still don't mind it, actually, to this day. I just, I have more veggies, more varied palette of veggies at this point. Yeah, my mom would have been a fan of that. <laughs> She'd been like, Jordan, you're, you got a lifetime supply of broccoli right here. This is all you. And I would have had it every night. I did have it every night. That's it for Mildly Interesting. I hope you've been mildly entertained. If you were, uh, make sure to like the video. Mildly like it. And if you want, if you were mildly entertained, make sure to mildly subscribe. And if you want to check out mildly cool music uh, that's playing in the background right now, like in the outro on their music. I'll see you next time.